The second part of our webinar covers bonding surfaces together. In the image you see on screen you can see that in this model we have an aft surface and a forward surface. These two surfaces are bonded together or joined together around a midship section. Normally we wouldn't want to break a surface longitudinally but we may choose to do so to insert a parallel mid-body or for some other modelling reason like that. Let's take a look at how this bonding works. If we switch to a profile view, the first thing that we need to do is to turn on the bonded edges. So we can turn on the bonded edges command that shows the edge between the two surfaces. And if we select the two surfaces and unlock them, we can see the control points that uh, define the surface shape. If we zoom in a little more closely, we can see that these control points along this bonded edge are coloured orange and that shows that they are grouped together. So we've actually got points on top of each other here. The bonding that we've used here, if we look at the bonding menu, is bonding with no tangency. That means the two surfaces move together but there's no guarantee of slope continuity across the edge. If I pick up any of the control points, the two surface edges move together. If I switch to a plan view, however, and uh, I show the surface net that defines the surface and I zoom in a little more closely. If I now start modifying the surface shape, what we'll see is that the water lines are not continuous. In other words, we've got a slope discontinuity across the surface edge, which is normally not what we want for our water lines and buttock lines and other longitudinal lines like that. So we have different types of bonding that we can use to satisfy uh, that uh, particular constraint. If I select the points that are on that surface edge and I use the bonding command, I can choose to bond with approximate tangency. If I turn on that option, notice now that one, two, three columns of control points are coloured orange and that means they're all constrained to move together. And if we look at the nature of that constraint, if I pick up that forward point, notice that the aft point moves uh, in a mirror across the centre line so that uh, we've got approximate tangent continuity. If I do that in a plan view and uh, I modify these control points in plan, you'll see the opposing points moving. But this time, notice that we do have a reasonable tangent continuity across that surface edge. However, in situations where there's a large amount of twist in the surface, just aligning the control points across the surface edge, which is what MaxSurf does for us here, may not be enough to guarantee exact tangent continuity. And for that more uh, rigorous situation, what we require is not only that the points are in a straight line, but also that the column on either side of the edge is equidistant from the edge. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the bonding from that edge and I'm going to add an extra column in to this forward surface and I'm going to put it approximately the same distance from the edge as this column here. So I'll select the forward surface and choose to add a column. I'll position it approximately the same distance and now when I select the control points on that surface edge and I go and choose my bonding, this time I'm going to use strict tangency. Again this time we see that uh, the points are automatically aligned on either side of the edge but now they're exactly equidistant from the edge and if I move one, the other one is kept exactly the same distance from the edge. If I go into a plan view we can see that as we move this around, now we're insured of absolute tangent continuity across that edge. Using bonding in that way can be a useful way to ensure exact continuity in situations where it's necessary to break the surfaces but you still want to have a nice smooth design across the join between the two surfaces. We just finally look at that bonded edge in 3D we can see as we move it around how the tangency is preserved across that surface edge.